Yeah, good morning. This is Koiki Media. We are live at the synagogue Church of All Nation. There's a particular news that broke out this uh, yesterday and this morning concerning uh, a renowned pastor, prophet, TB Joshua. Uh, we have been told that uh, he died last night after uh, a, a particular, uh, just a short church service yesterday. Right now, we are at the church right now to uh, really see what is going on, if it is true or false. But at the moment, we are confirming it to the world the prophet T.B. Joshua is dead. No man is God. Please don't mock the dead. We we all die one day. Let's use this very great uh, time to condole the family and to say R.I.P. to him. It's called key media. We're live here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Khartoum, Lagos, Nigeria. You can look around. It happened live. A lot of people did not know that the man of God is gone. They even came this morning for church service, not knowing that the main man who anchors program, a renowned and a big man of God from Nigeria, is gone. You can see the people, you can see people around the church coming to uh, coming to console and condole with the families and members of this great man of God. Let's try, let's use this opportunity to say R.I.P. to him. No man is God. We will all go one day. It's called key media to bring the world closer to your doorstep. A lot are really crying here. A lot of people are crying seriously. It's live and it's confirmed. It's no longer a rumor that the founder of the synagogue of all nations is dead. The cause of his death has not really been confirmed. We're told that he had a short service yesterday and was confirmed that he died that same yesterday. Let's pray for the family to be able to bear this great loss.
I'm trying to take pictures. No, 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 no. We are no, no, no. We can't be. We can't be happy. I'm a journalist. I'm just trying to get information. Till you get. We can't be happy. We just want. To, I know. We just want to confirm the news. That was what happened. Ross, see. I'm I'm not I'm not just I'm impressed, so I'm not just taking videos. Yeah.
said, Good morning, how are you? Weston, Aboji. I run. Let me fake, let me fake news. 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 Let me fake Line. So I get Android phone before for this video call to share the show like this now. He even attend to people yesterday for mountain in the morning. So even he attend to the everybody for the church for the mountain where they go every Saturday. So around 11 now we hear the story. The Russian have flash. Around 2 o'clock I accomplished the journey. Show the ambulance. No, yes, you. Now, the first story happened today. Let me lie. They show us now. We got everywhere. We will fly. It is us. Quand les potes de recherche, on va des gens dans les villes. Des gens dans les villes. Il y a un peu de gens. 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 Il y a un peu de A great man of God for the world. I go down to the, the great one.
It is no longer a rumor that Prophet T.B. Joshua of the Synagogue of All Nations, located in Lagos, Nigeria, is gone. We are live here at the Kotun, the Synagogue of All Nations, Lagos, Nigeria. We are Sikoiki Media. We bring the world closer to your doorsteps. Please, let's try not to mock the dead, please. Let's use this opportunity to say R.I.P. to him and also to console the family and members of his church. We are told that he died at 2 a.m. this morning. That he was sick. That he started feeling, he wasn't sick, but he started feeling ill around 11 p.m. last night. That the news was being broken at 2 a.m. this morning. Please don't mock the dead, please. We will all die one day. Let's use this great opportunity to say, rest in peace, man of God. He's a great man of God, a renounced man of God. A great one. His church is located in the heart of Ikotun in Lagos, Nigeria. This church has really brought together different people from all over the world from Nigeria, from other African countries, from Europe, from America, everywhere, all over the world. A lot of people come from their countries to worship in this church. Please, let's not mock the dead. Let's say RIP to him. Let's try to console the families and also members of uh, Synagogue Church, please. For one day, one time, we will all die. It's Koiki Media. is dead. It is confirmed. Confirmed story. It's no longer a rumor. A lot of sympathizers are now at the gates of the church here in Lagos, Nigeria, to sympathize with the family, friends, and uh, church members also. And also to say R.I.P. to him. And also a lot of people have been here crying. We're told that this man of God is a very, very good man. He's a philanthropist, a prophet, a pastor. He's a very nice man. He runs so many NGOs. He supports people. He feeds a lot of people. Gives them morning, afternoon, and evening food. Give them cash, change their life, get them jobs. Please, let's use this great opportunity to say RIP to him. He has lived a very good life. He has really lived a fulfilled life. We're picking it live from the synagogue of all nations. We are Siko Iki Media. We bring the world closer to your doorsteps. Better 
My name is Fred. I'm reporting live from the Synagogue of All Nation here in the Cotton Lagos, Nigeria. Today is 6th of June 2021. Live at the Synagogue of All Nations. The church of a great uh, man of God, Pastor T.B. Joshua. We, we heard that the man died at the middle of the night. He started feeling somehow at about 11 p.m. last night. Then his death was confirmed at 2 a.m. this early morning. So we are here to give you the breaking news and the live broadcast. At Koiki Media, we give it to you all. Please, let's use this great opportunity to say RIP to this great man of God. He's a renowned man of God that has really done a very great job in Nigeria and all over the world. A lot are here crying. We at Koiki Media, we are saying, rest in peace, man of God. Hi. Prophet T.B. Joshua is a renowned man of God, a prophet, a philanthropist, is a pastor, is a mentor, is a guardian. He's a very, very good man. He's a very, very good man. He has supported so many people. He has helped so many people. He has given hope to so many that are hopeless through his ministry. He runs an NGO. He feeds a lot of people. He makes them happy. Good morning, sir. My name is Fred. I'm from Koiki Media. We have a media platform, you know, that works all over the world. We bring the world closer to everyone's doorstep. Sorry, uh, yesterday we had uh, what happened yesterday, and uh, we've been told that Papa uh, Prophet uh, was a little bit uh, sick yesterday, and we had the news early this morning that he's dead. So that was why we came here to confirm it. Sorry, what do you want to say about uh, the news, sir? 
just the same thing I was also imagining because I can't believe this. I came all the way from Worry to come and fellowship here today. You said you came all the way from Worry, Delta State. Delta State. Oh my God. That's where I came from to worship here for the man of God to lay hands on me because of my journey. So now to travel outside. But uh, getting here this morning, in fact, I was totally confused. And I asked the security man, why are they blocking people not to enter the church for the service? They told me that uh, since COVID-19 era, there will not be any service. But looking around, seeing people crowded here, some crying, some are now asked what is happening. They now told me what the man of God was saying in parables in some, uh, yesterday's service. That he was just making some parables that uh, today will be the last day he will make service with them. That he don't know if God will allow him to have his birthday this year. Oh, you said he made a yes, parable yes. that today will be, which is yesterday, yesterday will be his be last day of day. holding service yes, with, with his them. members. Yes. Oh, wow. So I don't know why. All these men of God. Probably, maybe he has seen it as a vision that yeah, yeah. he was going to die. Yes, that's why I mentioned that Bishop Benson in the house. He did the same thing. A day before he gave up, he gave a message that he will not see tomorrow. That that day will be the last message that he will give to the people. He's a great man of God. At the same age, 58 years. What happened? Why is God taking our people from that age? too obvious. In fact, I'm done father and my brother. I don't know what to believe. Like, like, what can you say about the man of God? As in, He's a great just, man. What can you like say about I say, him? I am about traveling outside the country. My belief is to come here, even if he doesn't lay hands on me, but see him and pray for me. I will be okay and my journey will be successful. That's what I believe and that's why I'm here. All the way from Delta State. So getting here to get this at this appointment, I have to find them. Please. But we really had a lot of good things about him that he's a prophet, he's a pastor, he's a father, he's a mentor, he's a guardian, you know. Like what do you think? What what can you say about him more about him? He's a man that every other believer, every other man of God should imitate, should imitate and follow their instructions. He gives you encouragement, he gives you support in anywhere that you need it. Morally, physically, and spiritually, he's a calm man of God, and that is why God has taken him at this age. Okay, when you got here this morning, who confirmed it to you that yeah, man of God is there? Men, I asked, did not tell me, but seeing the faces of people and looking into my uh, YouTube, I saw the news, I saw the online message. You saw the breaking news. Yes, the breaking news. So I don't know. I don't know if it's real. I am still standing here to find out and confirm if this story is real. It is confirmed. Yes, it's confirmed. Yeah, we've so confirmed it. Anything can be possible to God that He's sleeping. I can believe that He's a man of God. He's of a course. Person from of course. anything can happen. Yes. As long as so you know, believe it, that He believes so much God. in God. Yeah. Yes. There's a movie I watched last night. Everybody confirmed the guy there. I take him to the mortuary. The mortuary man said, This guy is still alive. He call a pastor. He call a bishop. And he prayed for that man. So I believe the same thing to this man of God because I've never expected him to go by this time. It's okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Quickie Media, we bring the work to your doorstep. We are still at the Synagogue Church of All Nations here in, in Kotun, Lagos, Nigeria, where we had that uh, a very renowned man of God, a big man of God, a Nigerian man of God, a prophet, uh, a guardian, uh, that died. Yeah, thank you for staying tuned. Thank you for being there. Thank you for hanging on to our live broadcast this morning. Thank you very much. It is confirmed that Prophet T.B. Joshua of the Synagogue Church of All Nations is dead. We are live at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. We are Koiki Media. We bring the work closer to your doorstep. And my name is Fred, reporting live 
from Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you.